What is up guys? Today is October 11th, which actually is the 12th because it's 2.30 in the morning. But I just finished up a couple of the last little things left on the Jeep. We got the steps put back on. So those are back on both sides. And I did a new install that took way longer than expected of what I thought was gonna do, but you may be thinking, wow, it's just a rear view mirror. But wait, there's more. Wait for it. Wow. Wow, it's the fancy thing. And it records front view, rear view. You can switch it around with camera so it's split. So you have a rear view and a front view. Let me close the door, hold up. Okay. So you've got a rear view, a front view, and you can play back video that has already been recorded in it. Super hard to see on here, but here's your rear view, your front view, and then you can change it again to be just front view or just rear view. So there's a lot of cool different things that you can do with this. It's We got this from Stinger Off-Road, so it actually matches the high 10 head unit that we have in here, which is also super fancy and awesome. It has CarPlay and all the cool fun things. So that's what I just finished up installing on the Jeep and buttoned up some wiring that was um, not tied down or routed or any of the things. So, and then it just says goodbye, shuts back off. So yeah, all of the cool fancy things. And the best part about it is that because it is a camera as a rear view, instead of a mirror, the back pods, I know you sassy little dog, the back pods that are in the whole like back window, which makes it kind of hard to see, kind of doesn't have that problem anymore. So this big spare tire used to be in the way. The camera's right there. And then because of the pods that are in here for the sound system, those can sometimes make it hard to see at the back window. So that camera will now solve that issue. So super cool. I'm very happy with how that turned out. It definitely did take longer to install than I thought it was going to take just because I really want all the wires hidden and routed nicely and everything. So got that all taken care of. The only thing left on it that I need to do are the decals and then the taillights. Said that they should be here Friday so we'll see if they show up Friday. And then that is it. So aside from that, that's the current state of the Jeep. It's looking good. I only have, I think, like two or three things left on the TRX to do. The um, Z Automotive sent a taser unit for it, which is basically a tuner. So I'll be installing that tomorrow. It plugs into the <clears throat> OBD reader. Bless you. Bless you. And communicates with the computer and you can set a whole lot of different security functions, light functions, and all of that stuff. I probably won't be sharing the security functions with y'all for obvious reasons of <laughs> theft. So I probably won't yeah. share that. <laughs> yeah, like here. This is how you unlock the lock function on our TRX. Yeah, probably won't be sharing that. But maybe some cool light functions and just kind of showing y'all how to install it and such. So... Pretty much all that's left. So unfortunately, the grill for the TRX is not going to be done before SEMA. Very sad. So that'll be done after SEMA. I don't have an ATA on when that'll be done. So that's a bummer, but it's okay. It is what it is. So the grill won't be done before SEMA. We have decals left on it, the tuner. I'm waiting on one more part from the powder coat shop. And then we're getting the front windows tinted because right now it looks like a fishbowl. And we're waiting for the lights that are going in the bumpers, in the um, ADD bumpers. So FCK Lighting actually made custom 
red light bars that we can fit in those bumpers because they didn't have a size that was red that would fit. So thank you so much to them. They were like a huge answer to prayer because I have no idea where else I was going to find red light bars that were going to be that size to fit that were with a company that actually would work with me. I'm not going to go into detail about that, but let's just say sometimes it's hard to find products that I need from certain brands who aren't as welcoming, I guess. And that might not even be the case. It might be a totally other reason, but it is what it is. Thank you, FCK, for always having us our, on our back. XK Glow has our back. NG Lighting has had our back. I've had zero issues with any of those companies. They always stand behind everything that I've ever gotten and have it shipped out. They get me tracking. If I have problems or install issues, they're always right there. And I highly, highly recommend all of those companies. Alpharex has been amazing. Um, who else have we used? Basically, everyone's just the bomb.com. If if I'm gonna use them from year to year to year, they're it's typically for a reason, and it's because I feel appreciated as a builder, and I appreciate them as a company, and uh, their customer service and manufacturing, and their products. So that's just a little gist about me. I pr I highly 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 uh, put customer service and quality above a lot of other things so and I'm very loyal to the people who have been with me since day one like TIS wheels love them John and Walter are absolutely phenomenal love the marketing team love everybody love their products we have all TIS wheels on everything that we have um, hammerhead bumpers that's another one we have all hammerhead bumpers on every single vehicle we own love them to death. I run Gen Y Hitch on all of our tow rigs. I love that company, love their product, love their hitches, love their customer service, love their marketing team. Donna is amazing. So that's just like a little synopsis of the people that I get to work with in the industry are amazing. So that's always exciting. I don't know if I showed y'all this too, but I just thought of this. This is what the exhaust tip looks like. TSO. Isn't it absolutely phenomenal? Like, so gorgeous. Oh, the red on the black. Oh, it's so pretty. So yeah, and it's massive, like, size comparison. It's like two of my heads. So yeah, wild. Good stuff, we love it. And then, we don't talk about the dually. That's another conversation for another day. Once it's done, it's go time. But I still don't have it back yet. But I'm holding out because I know Leon will do awesome things at, at VSA with the audio system. But I'm ready to have it back so that I have more peace of mind of, okay, if it's in my shop, that means I can work on it. If it's not here, I can't do anything about it. So, yeah. But the Jeep's fun to look at. Munchie's trying to duck. No, Munchie, come back. <laughs> but that's all the update we have for y'all today. Tomorrow is a new day, so we're hoping everything will go over smoothly. I'm planning on taking the TRX to go get tinted first thing in the morning. When I say morning, I mean the crack of probably 9 because it is now 2.45 and I still have to shower, probably eat something, and go to bed, so... Yay! But basically I'm just going to be trying to get the windows tinted and the tuner done and just knock some stuff off the list under the TRX list that I can get done and that is all. So until next time guys, see y'all.